morning everybody it's Michael here from the trading institutional order flow thread on Forex Factory I hope you're well um, it's time for a new video again let me start off by saying Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate Christmas and even to you who to, to those of you who don't um, it's a season of sharing so Merry Christmas so today we're going to be looking at um, daily charts and I also wanted to start off by answering a question that's been posted on the um, on the thread this is the trading institutional order flow thread on on Forex factory this is where we we hang out we share ideas and and talk with with um, traders from all over the world um, our latest contributor Forex dude hi Forex dude um, just posted a chart and, and asked a question if if you thought about the euro New Zealand if the zone would work um, only time will tell I guess but this is this is your chart and it's it's very well done it it looks really really good I'm I'm pleased that you have obviously understood the concepts so the zones that you've marked off are are um, pretty good so well done to you for, for, for that but these zones are definitely strong and there's no reason why um, trades shouldn't be taken at them as to the outcome of the trades, nobody ever knows that. We are not invested in outcomes. We only always follow process. Um, so with with your with the markets in a clear uptrend, with prices pulling back to demand, there's only one um, action that is appropriate, and that is to look for buying opportunities. Which I think that's what you're doing because I can see your limit orders are down here. What I wanted to point out was that you have a couple of levels already here. There's a rally-based rally on top of another rally-based rally down in here, which are really good levels. Um, and they are sitting very well inside the demand zone that you've identified on the weekly chart. So these were already potential trades um, that could have been taken. Um, and I'm sure there will be other opportunities that will form um, as the markets evolve as well. Remember around Christmas the um, volumes tend to go down because people go on holiday, everybody's with family, lots of turkey flowing around. Um, so people are beginning to shut down for the year. I think you probably find maybe you have one more main week of, of trading and that will probably be it. Um, I think Friday um, this week will probably have the, the most volume, who knows. Um, but we'll, we'll see. So I hope that answers your question. So let's quickly go through a few pairs, um, starting with the Aussie pairs now, looking at um, daily income trade ideas. So we can see the Aussie yen here. Prices are coming up to this supply. We're forming demand close by. There's also some more demand levels down in here. There's a little bit in here on a smaller time frame as well. But these are the main levels looking at, at that pair. On the Aussie CAD, you can see that we've cleared out this supply zone, which was a reaction created as a reaction to that. We have a huge level, and there will be smaller time frame levels in here, and we have that one above. So that's what we're looking at with the Aussie CAD for the short term income. Looking at the Aussie US dollar, similar picture, you have this one a bit clearer, and you're, you are sitting in a little bit of supply right now on this one. Um, so that's that's one to to keep an eye out for short term income um, as well. Um, let's take a look at the Aussie. So the Aussie New Zealand. I posted this chart um, earlier this week. If you guys go back on the thread, you'll see this chart I posted that the roundtable members and I were looking at this level. And if you'll go to the four hour chart and the one hour chart you'll see the levels that we traded that was the opportunity right there and you can see what's what the outcome of that is that's off of the FOMC um, minutes last night so that level has already worked out we're beginning to get higher and higher um, so we'll see how how that pans out but that was a, a really good simple um, textbook trade um, for us so looking at the CAD yen Again, we, we have, I think, hit supply, have we? Yes, we have, and we've got demand below. So this one's just about stuck in the middle there. So we're watching to see on the dollar. So you can see the dollar played 
bit of games with people. Um, you had this supply zone, which was just pierced through and then fell. You're coming down into these levels here, which I think on smaller time frames will probably have something in there. But this is what you're looking at. Obviously, you have some further supply above and further demand below. So those are the levels for the US dollar. Um, let's take a look at the euro opposite of that. So looking at the euro, you can see, again, these are levels that we've had in for a while. You've had the demand there that's worked already, and you have some supply that's coming up over here. So these are the levels worth watching in, in the, um, in the Euro US dollar in the short term, at least. In the Euro Yen, it's a very messy market. You have the supply up in there, you have the demand down in here, and it's just going in between there. I think on the four hour chart, we took a trade up in this level. Um, a few days ago and that's already done um, we, we can see now prices are moving up and trying to get back into those into those levels up in there so we'll see how that goes for now I'm not really sure there's anything interesting here on the daily for the euro new zealand we are coming into some levels um, there's a little bit here obviously there's more below and there's some sitting right above so the, this is the picture for for the Euro New Zealand um, right now. Um, let's take a few more pairs before we finish. Let's take a look at the New Zealand. The New Zealand obviously been flying the last few days. Um, we have demand levels below us, and the nearest supply levels are not till here and there. So still quite a bit of a ways to go to supply. We'll see how that pans out. US dollar Japanese yen, the very um, profitable trade for us. Um, we shorted this, um, and even on, on smaller time frames, if you look at it on the four hour, or was that the hourly? Yeah, all these levels up in here, they were shorted. So you can see the level there, the rally base drop that was shorted right there, and it's it's finished now. So looking at where we are now the next demand is not till down there from what I can see here so it's a bit of a ways to go on that one still um, New Zealand yen before we finish I'll let, I want to take a look at gold as well so New Zealand when it, yen is is in a tricky area right now it's sitting up in these um, supply areas and and the demand is is somewhere down in here so again not the most appropriate action here would probably be not to buy. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at WTI. Let's take a look at crude oil. Crude oil, WTI, where are we? Uh, WTI C, I think it is. No? Oh, I'll just type crude, shall I? <laughs> Where's my crude oil gone? I will take, yeah, there we go, USO. Okay, so it's a bit messy up in here. There's nothing nothing in crude right now. You have demand holding below, you have supply holding above, and we're just ranging. There was another new supply zone that was created there, and it's going down. So it's until this tight range is broken, it's it's a challenge right now. Not, not a lot of movement in that one. Okay, let's take a look at gold before we finish for the gold bugs. I hope you guys are giving away some gold um, for Christmas, or getting some more, more like. Um, so we have already hit this level twice, so we're looking at supply levels above us in gold for short-term income, and we've got demand level down there. Oh, there's a little bit as well here. Has that one been hit? Not quite yet. Okay, so those are the levels to keep an eye on in gold. So I'm going to end the video now. Just a reminder for this weekend, for Saturday, the 16th of um, December, the final webinar of the of the year. A lot of you have contacted me privately, so thank you. So if you wanted to join, just send me your email address to storehouseanalytics at gmail.com, and that's you will get a... Um, an invite on the day to the webinar. Okay, so it should be fun. Um, I'm thinking of opening up the round table. So if anyone is interested in, it's a subscription service. Yes, it's a monthly subscription. So 
it's it's only for people who want to be in the room it's a meeting we have every sunday um preparing for the week ahead so it's it's the round table meeting so if anybody's interested in wanting to join up for that just let me know um i'm thinking about opening up in the new year until now it's been only for people i've mentored privately whether that's through the uh, storehouse tutorial group the videos or through one-to-one -one. Um, but i think there's there's a, a lot of information out there they won't be they won't be teaching um sessions per se it, their market analysis and prep sessions um for for trading so let me i, I want to see if people are interested in it um and then we'll we'll see if we can open it up early in the new year so for for this weekend the 16th um we'll have our last um tiof webinar so there's still a bit of time before um i close the registration all right guys i wish you all a merry merry christmas um there probably will be maybe one more video if that around christmas not sure yet but i wish you all well trade safe bye for now